السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful How are we doing today? الحمد لله اليوم بإذن الله رح نتناول الصف الثالث والرابع الابتدائي مادة اللغة الإنجليزية And today إن شاء الله we will be doing an evaluation for unit feelings and things معكم معلمة سارة الشبيكي ومعنا معلم لغة الإشارة الأستاذ فواز العقيل As always, it's a pleasure So let's quickly go over our classroom agreements Please make sure to have a snack before class begins. Please find a quiet, comfortable place. Also, please remember to bring your weekend to book and an English notebook. Today, we might need the English notebook more for writing time. So, what will we do today? We are used to doing this every single unit, right? We have an evaluation once we're finished with the unit. So we go over all the things that we've learned. Maybe look at it in a different way. Review it, remember, and see if there are things that you can start using, okay? So, are we ready? Now let's read this together before we begin. Our objectives are differentiate between intonation patterns of statements and questions. We will ask and respond to basic questions about personal information regarding feelings. We will use possessive adjectives, my and your. We will say feelings in short, simple sentences. We will use preposi prepositions of place in and on. Also, we will apply regular plural formation using these and those. We will match sounds to letters and apply the rules of writing correctly. Are we ready? Okay. Now, what are feelings and why do they happen? Again, what are feelings? Can you remember one feeling? Say it. Why does this feeling happen? So now let's go back and remember what are feelings Feelings, we feel them in the inside, right? Can we have feelings in the outside too? Okay, again, what are feelings and why do they happen? Here we have a picture of ice cubes. Ice cubes, how do they feel when you touch them? Let's read the question together. How will you feel if you touch these ice cubes? How will you feel? Now touch your hand. Can you feel your hand? Can you feel when you touch your hand? Can you feel that? There you go. So when you touch ice cubes, it feels what? It feels cold, right? So feelings can be things that you feel from outside yourself. Like inside, you can feel happy, you can feel sad. Outside, you can feel something cold. You can feel something hot. When it's raining, your clothes feel, they feel wet. Excellent. Let's continue. It says here, how will you feel if you drink this cup of coffee too fast? What do you see over here? Do you think this drink is hot or cold? It's hot. If you drink it quickly, what will happen? You might burn your tongue. It will hurt, right? So that's also a feeling that you feel. At the same time, you will enjoy the coffee hot. You can enjoy it cold. If you're careful, you can sip the coffee and it's not going to burn you. So that's also a kind of feeling, right? Look at this picture with me. What do you see? And what does this, what does this boy have in his hands? This is a gift. Did you see the smile on his face? What does this, what does this tell you? He's happy to receive the gift. Where is this person? Where do you see him? In a hospital, right? Does he look well or does he look sick? He looks sick. And then to make them feel better, what do we do? Yes, we visit sick people, we bring them gifts so that we can make them feel better, make them feel that they're not alone. Let's read the sentence together. How will a sick person feel when you pay him or her a visit, a visit. When you visit a sick person, especially a sick person, you'll make that person feel happy, right? So this is another kind of feeling. It comes from the inside, right? 
Now look at this picture. What do you see? So here we have a before picture and an after. Let's read the question together. How did he feel before and after getting his milk bottle? So remember when we were talking about being hungry and thirsty? It shows in our face, right? Also, we can talk. We can say, I'm hungry. We can say, I'm thirsty. Here we have a little person who doesn't know how to talk yet. So what do they do when they want to eat? They cry, right? And then when they get the bottle, they're happy, right? So the baby here felt really happy after getting his bottle. It says here, which of the five senses remind you of the word feelings? Remember way back when we talked about, when we had that un unit, my body? We were talking about the sense of touch, right? Did you guess that it was the sense of touch that reminds you of feelings? Yes. Remember when we talked about the cold ice and the hot coffee? So we can connect what we are learning today to what we've learned before, which is unit, my body, right? The sense of touch. What do we see here? Remember when we talked about feelings showing in our body as well? Our body language, our faces, yes. I can look at your face and I can tell, hmm, maybe he's happy, she's happy. Oh, he looks really angry. I can tell from your face, right? So let's read this question together. What can, we can see feelings in faces sometimes. What do we see here? What does it look like this boy is feeling right here? He has a smile on his face, so it means that he is happy, right? Over here. What do you see coming from his eyes? Yes, he is crying, so he's feeling sad. Do you remember these words? Excellent. Okay, now please listen to each audio. Make a list. Do you know what a list is? Of feelings places, and things. Let me ask you a question. What is the name of this unit? Feelings and things. So we can connect our feelings with the things around us. Now we're going to listen to audios we've listened to before, and we are going to write words connected to feelings, things, and places, right? Okay, let's begin. Congratulations, Sama. Thank you, Lillian. What's the matter? I'm feeling a little nervous. Why? I'm just a little worried about my mom. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. Would you like to bring her chocolate? Yes. Would you like to come with me? I would love to. I can't wait to see your new baby brother. Me too. I'm not nervous anymore. I'm so hungry for chocolate now. I'm hungry for chocolate too. <laughs> <laughs> so, what words did you hear were connected to feelings? Okay. Nervous, right? Samah was feeling nervous, right? And at the end, was she feeling nervous? They were laughing, right? They seemed excited. Also, we said nervous. Can you tell me a place that they're going to go to? They're going to the hospital to visit. Yes, her mom just had a baby. And what else? Hungry. Do you, did, you, did you hear the word hungry? She's hungry for chocolate. Think of something else. Happy. So let's write the words together. As I write, maybe you can think of something, OK? Let's write the word nervous. She was feeling nervous. And baby brother, right? There's a baby brother in the picture. Also, she was feeling at the end happy, right? And there's something really important. Do you remember, do you remember, did you notice that Lilian and Samah were together? So, do you think they're friends? 
Yes, so let's write down the word friends. What sound did you hear in the end? They were laughing, right? So when you laugh, it shows that you're feeling comfortable and happy too. So can we write this down? Can we write the word laugh? Let's do this together. Let's write the word laughter. And there's also a place. We might not have a place to write it down. What is that place? Where are they going? They're going to visit Samah's mom, right? Where? In the hospital. Okay, you can write that down. Now we have this audio to listen to. Are you ready? Okay. Hi, Lily. What are those? Hi, Muhammad. These are crafts I made from colored paper. How did you learn to do them? I was really bored, so I just folded the paper. After folding it, I drew a shape. Then I cut the shape, and now I have these. Can you teach me how? This sounds alike, like a lot of fun. Of course I can. You can use the bottle of glue to stick the papers together if you want. I have this pair of scissors to cut my shape. I want to make a shape of a car. You can use that pencil to draw the shape first. Thank you, Lily. You are so creative. I guess being bored makes you creative. I wonder what other games I can make. We can come up with something together. Sounds like a lot of fun. What word stood out to you? The one that stood out to me, fun. Would you like to write this down? Fun. So the com when you have company, you have fun, right? Fun. Tell me a thing that you saw on the table. Papers. Do you want to write this down? Let's write papers together. Papers. So she used papers to make crafts. Papers. What else? Okay. Creative. Did you hear that word? Creative. And another word is, how was Lily feeling before she made the craft? She was feeling bored. So because she was bored, she was being creative and she did something fun. So let's write this down. Bored. Creative. Now let's say one more thing. There was something on the table. There was a pencil, there was a glue. Which word would you like to write? Let's write glue, it's different, right? Let's write the word glue. There you go. So here we have things and we have the feelings, the feeling, bored, creative, something that they did together, okay? Creative, something that happened because you were bored. Now let's listen to this audio together. I'm so happy today. My friend Pete is here for the day. We have many toys and games to play. We are in my room. My new laptop is on the desk. All our computer games are on the desk too. Let's play. Okay, so again, what word stood out to you that connected to feelings? So let's talk about some places, right? So maybe we can write the word room. We could say the word friend. Again, we can write the word friend. He invited his friend over. And what things are they going to play with? Games. And what's on the table? A laptop. So let's write a few words together, and if something pops up in your mind, just write it down. We don't have to write the same thing, okay? So let's talk friends. Friends, right? How, how was Keenan feeling at the beginning? He was happy. I'm happy today. 
Where are they? They're in his room, right? So this is a place. They are going to play games, yes. Keenan was excited to have a laptop. So far, so good. Okay, are you connecting what you hear to the things you understood in the unit? Okay. Now we're going to continue by remembering a question. What question do we ask when we think something is wrong with someone? So what do you see in this picture? Two people, right? One girl is, she's feeling, she looks like she's feeling sad, right? And then there's someone holding her shoulder, her friend, what do you think she's going to ask her? What's the matter? Excellent. What's the matter? Let's write this down together. What's the matter? We start with a capital letter, okay? What's the matter? What's the matter? And what did she answer? I'm feeling sad and tired today. I'm feeling sad and tired today. So this is the girl's answer. She's, she's not feeling really well. So when you say, what's the matter? It means something is wrong with the other person. Okay? Is there something missing? Really? I didn't put a full stop? Should I put a full stop? Oh, a question mark. Okay, let's put a question mark because this is a question. Excellent job. So, do you think only one person is doing something for the other person or both are connected? I think both are connected. Even when you help someone, it makes you feel good that you are being trusted, that she trusted you to tell you how she feels, right? Okay, now let's read this question together. What can you say or do to make a friend feel better? So let's say you found a friend who's not feeling well or sad. What can you do with this friend? Maybe you can say, it's okay, I'm here for you. But maybe your friend doesn't want to talk. They're just not feeling well. What can you do? I can play with my friend. It will make them feel better, right? Let's write this down. I can play with my friend. Maybe later, your friend will tell you what happened or why they are sad. I can play with my friend. Full stop. Okay, now let's continue. Now please look at the picture of the room. You will see a picture of a room. We will make sentences using in and on. Do you remember when we talked about in and on? What do we use these words for? To point at things? Oh no, this is this and that, right? And these and those. These two words, in and on, what are they used for? Places, excellent. So here, what do we see? A room, it has lots of things. So I can see, oh, there's a fish over here. So we can say, okay, this is a fish. Is it in the bowl or on the bowl? It's in, excellent. So we can say, I see a, can you write with me? A fish in a bowl. Full stop. Do you remember the sh sound? The word fish? So, what else do we see here? I see, oh, we see here, that looks like a duck. It's in the book or on the book. Okay. That duck is on the book. Let's write this down. That duck is on, excellent, on the book book. 
full stop. Is there anything else? Try to be creative. What do you think is inside here? If you open the drawer, usually what's inside? Clothes, right? So we can say, the clothes are in the drawer. Let's write this down. The clothes are in the drawer. Full stop. Okay, so how was it? How was the writing? How's the writing, by the way? Do you feel comfortable writing with me? Or do you think I'm going too fast? If I'm going too fast, you can always pause. But believe me, if you practice, you will get used to using the language, not only in speaking, but also in writing. You will be able to learn English and use the language in different ways. Okay, now let's read this together. Please look at the picture. We will see another picture. Notice the words, this, that, these, and those in each sentence. It says here, notice. We're not going to notice. We're actually going to write these words. Are you ready? So we're going to write the words, this, that, these, and those in the blanks. Ready? Okay. So here we have a girl. Do you see this arrow? It's pointing at these two cubes. So what do you think the girl is saying? That is, that are two cubes. These are, excellent, because she's holding it, right? These are two cubes. And this arrow is pointing at the plants. This boy is over here. So what do you think the boy will say? Is it near or is it far? Is it one plant? It's two. So what can he say? Let's read the sentence. I water those plants. Excellent. Those. And now this girl is holding something in her hand and the arrow is pointing at it. So what do you think she's saying? Is it using this, that, these or those. This, because the cube's in her hand. So let's write this down. This is a red cube. This is a red cube. Do you know what a dinosaur is? It's a dinosaur toy. So this boy over here, he's holding a cube in his hand, but he's talking about the dinosaur at the back of the room. And it's one dinosaur. So what do you think he's going to use? This, that, these, or those? That. Excellent. So that dinosaur is a gift. Excellent job, boys and girls. Now you're getting used to these words, right? In, on, this, that, these, and those. Now we're going to go back and visit the sounds. We're going to read each sentence, OK? And they have missing letters, P, B, F, V, C, H, CH, and S, H, SH, and the TH. Remember, the TH makes two sounds, the TH and the TH. Okay. It says here, I see a, what color is this? Blue. So then we have the b sound. I see a blue and red. What kind of animal is this? Parrot. Excellent. Riding. You see, this is a picture of what? Do you remember the last lesson? It's a picture of a van. Excellent. So let's read the sentence together. Riding this. Excellent. Riding this van is my favorite way to go to school. So writing th, this van is my favorite way to go to school. We notice the two sounds, f and v, 
You know the difference between them? The difference between them. Okay. Here we have one, two, three. Let's read the sentence together. These, excellent. These, what kind of animal? These are three, excellent. These are three, what kind of animal is this? Chicks, it's a baby chicken. These are th three chicks. Are you writing the sounds with me? Just write the sounds, you don't have to write the whole word, okay? What do we see here? We're pointing at this, excellent, this shirt is black. This shirt is black. Okay. Now we're going to remember the long and short vowels. We're going to write sentences. You can choose one. I choose this. We can say the cub is cute. So I used a long U and a short U. Here we have, let's use this word. Is it a tap or tape? Tap. Let's write a sentence down. Mm. Turn off the tap, please. The A here is short. Excellent. So what did we learn today, boys and girls? What did we do? From the beginning of the lesson until now, we remembered what we took in the unit, feelings and things. Let's read this together. We completed an evaluation on unit, feelings and things. We pointed at things near and far. We remembered the names, we listed feelings. Also, we noticed the connection to feelings with so many things around us, whether it's our face, whether it's the thing we touch, or what we feel inside. They're all connected to each other. Now, before we end today's lesson, I want to ask you, what is the feeling that you like the most? Every day, there's something that you want to do or finish or accomplish because you have a feeling that comes after that you want. What is the feeling that you like the most? Maybe you can say being happy, right? We all want to be happy. But let me tell you something. Sometimes if you're happy that something is happening, this something will come and it will go. And then you're going to look for something else to be happy again. So what is the feeling that we really want? Let's read the sentence together. To be content is to have peace inside your heart all the time. So deep down inside, if something good comes, you welcome it. If it goes away, you let it go. But do you feel sad or disturbed? Nope. Inside your heart, you're grateful for everything Allah has given you, right? So you feel content. And this is the goal, right? Thank you so much, boys and girls. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. See you soon.